up, bitches? Let us find the live stream. Let us find the live stream. Two seconds, let me find it. Let me find it. It's very warm, isn't it? So warm. There we go. What about this weather, hey? Oh, the weather outside is weather. Let's turn that sound off. Way! Hey, cheers for watching. Cheers for watching me and that. Um, I set a target of 90 days to drink no beers. Just sweating, just constantly sweating. Always sweating. Don't message me, Kizzy, while I'm while I'm doing a live. Um, ninety days ago, set a target to not drink any beer for ninety days, and here I am, ninety days later, haven't drank any beers. Whoop whoop, me me me, smashed it. Um, buzzing about that. That's a definitely a lifetime record. I have not gone ninety days. Thanks, Martin Scott. What are you being all nice for? What do you want? <laughs> um, definitely haven't gone 90 days without drinking at the, without drinking alcohol since I was but a child. Oh, look, you can see me in the unrecording of me. Is that distracting? It's distracting for me. Um, so I'm very, I'm very happy with myself and I'm very appreciative of, of, of the support. Oh, thanks, Demo. That's very nice. It's very nice. Usually we're arguing about football. Arguing about being a Man United fan from Leeds. Um, but here, Demo, even Demo's coming on and being supportive. Even Demo, even Martin Scott. Um, and that's the other thing, like the, the amount of support on um, on Facebook from everyone's been proper nice as well. Really, really nice. And um, so that's why I'm doing this video, essentially, because everybody's been very nice. And a lot of people have since, since the 90 days. Like, I'm not going to take credit for it. Um, probably we're gonna give it a blast anyway, but have started now also not drinking um, and I've asked loads of questions um, so I'm gonna just say about things that have helped me how good how good it feels because um, it does feel pretty it does feel pretty good um, and answer some of these questions so I think the main question I asked is is what helped get to 90 days and look I, I, by no means am I an expert or am I um, some kind of addiction guru or something like that. 90 days is not that much, but it was my target. Now I've smashed it and I think I'm just going to keep on forever. Um, and what helped me? What helped me? So I have been, I've, like, I threw myself like early doors into a, 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 an intense fitness regime, shall we say. So it's probably been... Well, I've been I've been doing a lot of running for a few years, but I'd say over the last four months I've run every day, and if I've not run every day, it, I've done a workout on that day. But more often than not, I've run and then done a workout some days, um, just because it's definitely something I wouldn't be able to do hungover. Is get up on a morning, go for a run. Um, that's been absolutely massive for me and the fitness side of things, pro pro nothing motivates like progression. So when you're looking good and feeling healthier, you just, you don't want to take a step back from that. So I think exercise for me, um, has probably been the most useful thing, most useful thing for me. Um, I've got, if you are starting out, I'd get an app four minutes already. Look, I'm going to try and keep this to 20 minutes. Half an hour is a bit long, isn't it? Half an hour, like an episode of Coronation Street except it's one guy who's quite pleased with himself. How shit is that? So I've got, I am sober is the app that I use. It's really good. So basically on a morning, it pings about eight o'clock and goes, hey, are you, are you gonna drink today? And you go, not today, pal, no, I'm not. Um, and then he'll go, good for you, Danny, or something like that. Um, and uh, then at the end of the day, he pings again and goes, so did you drink today? And you go, no, I did not. And he goes, what did you do? So you like friends, exercise, work, blah, blah, blah. And then he goes, how did it feel? <laughs> so it's like a mini journal. Um, and it's really, really good. But it's accountability every day. I think that's really important. Um, and a little bit of praise as well from this robot, which is nice. 
So I am sober, that app's called. I think it's really good. There's a community on there as well, and it kind of keeps you in line with people who are on the same timeline as you, which is nice. Samantha Jane, I love your energy. It's awesome. That's because I'm not hungover. <laughs> Samantha Jane. Don't have this much energy usually. Um, so yeah, exercise, the I am sober app. I've got my papers here. I felt like the last video I did weren't that smooth. So this time I've written it down. Um, reading. I've done a lot of reading. Um, here are the books that I've been reading. The Unexpected Joy of Being Sober. That's like a sex in the city kind of girl. Um, but minus the alcohol and uh, that's really good UK based which helps I, don't, I, I just can't get on board with Americans American people American anything to be honest my one racism is Americanism don't like them um, and this naked mind which is pretty American actually but it's uh, so this one's like personal journal this one's like unwiring your it's the like the neurological links to addiction and stuff like that unwiring them at the beginning of this book it guarantees that if you read it by the end of it you will be cured from addiction huge congratulations short and long-term goals to maintain your journey um sweet i'll come to that jamie thank you for asking that um so the uh when you do start off as well, you're, you're going to crave sugar. You're going to probably crave sugar. Um, so much alcohol, uh, so much wine. Uh, fucking hell. I'm so drunk right now. So much sugar in beer and wine and that. Um, sugar's super, super addictive. So as soon as you stop drinking all those beers, if you do drink on a regular basis, your body's going to go, where's all this sugar we're used to, man? Um, like, it's mad, isn't it? Um, it, alcohol, like it's the one drug you have to explain not doing. Um, alcohol is m m responsible for more deaths, violence, um, uh, illness, addiction than all the other drugs put together, added together. You know what I mean? Um, but because it's legal, it's it's kind of shameful. Shameful to not have a drink. Like you failed at it or something like that. So I think the main, one of the main benefits, uh, one of the main things that's helped is the benefits, the mental health benefits. And like I just said, nothing motivates more than progression. And to see the way that my mental health is now compared to this time last year, um, heavily drinking, it's night and day, you know what I mean? And there's, uh, and that's a big motivator that I just don't want to go back there. My mental health is flying at the minute. It's really, really strong, consistent every day. Um, and why wouldn't it be, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm, I'm not causing myself any chemical imbalances. Um, yeah, mental health, really, really good. And the main benefit of that, I guess, is, is the authentic living. So when I wake up at six o'clock, half past five on a morning, because sleep's great, you have a deep sleep, fall asleep at a normal human time, like 10 o'clock, wake up at like five, six o'clock, um, and you've, you've not stirred all night, you know what I mean? You've not been, you've not been, sh you've not been had to wake up for a, to drink three pints of water, you know what I mean? Um, so that's really good, and you get up, the decisions I'm making at six o'clock, half past six, are the same quality of decisions I'm making at midday and they're the same quality of decisions I'm making at 9 p.m. You know what I mean? Because it's 100% me all of the time, um, which is a good good, good person to be, isn't it? Um, so at no point am I leaving myself like vulnerable or uh, nothing can catch me by surprise. You know what I mean? Uh, case in point, on Friday... Um, I had a phone call from my wife at about at about 6 p.m. saying, I've got a broken ankle, I'm getting it potted up, I need you to come and pick me up from the hospital. This time last year, without a shadow of a doubt, I'd have had too many beers, really, to, to drive, you know what I mean? Um, add to that, I had to take, there was kids in the car as well. Like I, w I wouldn't have been able to do it. Wouldn't have been able to do it. And then, come home, and obviously... She can't walk, so I've literally had to do everything. Um, and, I've, and I didn't mind, you know what I mean? I had enough energy to do it. I had enough motivation, enough will to do it, enough want to do it. Um, if the, Again, if this had been this time last year, this house would stink right now because I would have done fuck all. Um, apart from get pissed. 
Um, the dog's a big fan of my sobriety. She gets taken on some decent distances on a daily basis. I enjoy dog walks, you know what I mean? So I take the dog for a walk, come back, change my shoes, go for a run, come back, maybe exercise. Who knows? There's so many hours in the day when you're not drinking. Um, so it's good, it's good, it's good. Quitlet covered that. So yeah, those two books, they're really good. There's loads of others. There's loads of other good ones as well. Um, if you know any, just put them in the comments because I, 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 I I'm nearly at the end of this now. Well, I think I am. My kids moved my bookmark, so I'm reading it and I think I've read this. So I scanned a bit more and then I read a few more pages and go, I've read this. Scan a few more, so I might have finished it. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just keep reading it. Um, someone's, oh yeah, <clears throat> Facebook's really good. So my page has been good. People have been really, really supportive for me. But to, I think you get more value out of communities in in the same boat right so sober punks um and sober pirates are two pages that i i'm, I'm a part of on facebook um so you can pop on there and uh, if you post that you if you've got if you're particularly struggling one night about 60 people will comment and saying nice stuff tips people are in the same boat as you so that's really good but then you obviously you get to be the supporter um, when people post in their things and it's nice that like even AA and stuff like that um, really value service it, it's being a service to other people is really good as well Jay Shetty think like a monk I will check that out I do like Jay Shetty thank you Dave Prater appreciate that um, sweet cool alcohol free beer someone asked about um, my favourite I think is a simple Heineken, Heineken Zero, um, I, just because they're bottles, you know what I mean? And it's something about a cold glass bottle that kind of takes the edge off for me. Um, punk at the IPAs, Punk AF or Punk Nanny States are probably the tastiest, but they cost $8 million for the little cook can size, which, uh, no thanks, not for me, thanks. I like one of the reasons for stopping drinking was because it was costing me a fortune. I'm not going to start spending a fortune on beers that don't even do well. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, what's wrong with what's wrong with just putting a bit of ice in a humble orange juice, and and then it, it's like a mocktail, isn't it? Pop a bit of ice in there. Put a bit of effort into it. You would do if it were gin, wouldn't you? So. Pop a little bit of effort into it. Um, Izzy from France or the South or Spain, I don't know where she's from. She asked, what challenges? Um, the Euros was a bit of a challenge. I've, I've never watched so much football sober before. Alcohol and sober goes very well together. Uh, no, alcohol and football goes really well together. So I've sacked that off. I've watched, I watched all the games by myself, oh, apart from the first one. I watched the first one like a, at my mates, like a garden party. Um, and that was tough. I drank, I drank so many monsters. I felt, off my, I felt absolutely off my tits. <laughs> I drank <laughs> probably more harmful, the amount of caffeine I drank that day, than, than any alcohol. Um, but apart from that, <clears throat> I've watched them all by myself. Stayed out of way. Kept myself to myself. Um, and we nearly won it for God's sake, you know what I mean? Trust it to go sober. Wait, is a shout out. Uh, gonna go try drinking Guinness Zero when it comes back. It's a shame that went away. Bad timing. Bad timing. What was it? Mold. They found a fucking load of mold in it or something. Um, so yeah, challenges. Work socials. Work so socials was tough. Um, at my last job, I didn't even go to. Oh, I did. Went to one. Um, Oh no, I didn't. That was when I was still drinking. So yeah, d that doesn't count. Um, when I went sober, I didn't go to a single one. Um, I just couldn't trust myself to go out there, especially after work. You're like, ah, loosen your tie. Everybody relax. Everybody have a beer. Not me though. I don't. I, I just weren't ready for that. But I think I'm getting there now. I'm getting ready for that. I'm getting there. Nearly there. Um, gigging was a big one. I was shitting myself about doing it. In fact, I weren't even shitting myself. I just ruled it out. I didn't think that were going to be a thing that I could do anymore. Gigging sober. Um, but I started doing the open mic night that you've probably seen. If we're Facebook friends, 
Um, and it's nice, it's nice. I can focus more on my performance. Um, I asked to compare the night as well, just so it give, I'm just busy all night, you know what I mean? Um, Cause it, it weren't always the gig, it were the after the gig. You do a gig, play a set, and then it's afterwards people go, oh, that's good, that. that's really good, that. do you want a beer? Those beers, I'm like, yeah, I do, I do want a beer. Um, and the rest, you know what I mean? Um, sweet. So why did, someone asked, why did I quit? Elizabeth asked, why did I quit? And then she asked if that was nosy. Um, and I think, yeah, probably it is nosy if, if you're just asking someone who, who you go, do you want a drink? And they go, no, no I'm not, I'm quitting. To then ask them why, that might be a bit nosy, but because I've just been putting it all over Facebook and that, fine to ask me why I quit. And if you're expecting like, oh, this one night, it all came to a head. Like, it's nothing like that. It's dead boring, you know what I mean? If there's a, if there's a, what do you call it? A bottom, what do you call it? Rock bottom. If there's a rock bottom, I had about 20 rock bottoms, but they were all years ago, you know what I mean? They're all 15 years ago. And since then, it's just been, uh, just hanging about. Like I've sat, knocked everything else on the head, um, but yeah, alcohol's just sort of hanging about, and then in lockdown it kind of sort of crept back in, uh, drinking far too much than I should do. Normal cycle of want to cut down, fail to cut down, hate myself for not being able to cut down, drink too much, and that just that constant cycle over and over. Um, occasionally I'd be a dick to someone, you know what I mean? There'd be certain days where I just couldn't be asked doing anything as a result, you know what I mean? Which ain't good. Um, if you've got kids, you know what I mean? And on a Sunday, you just can't be asked doing all the two days that they're spending at home with them when they're at school all the time. Um, so it's nice to just have that energy and you can just do something at any point of the day, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, just breaking out of that cycle was the, was the reason, you know what I mean? Nothing bad, nothing too particularly heavy. Um, just to save some money, stop getting fat, um, uh, and stop hating myself essentially. And since then, I didn't realize that my mental health were gonna go through the roof. Um, I didn't realize I were gonna feel so fit, um, which they're just all benefits, but not reasons why I quit, but reasons why I would have quit. Um, yeah, so it were obvious that like alcohol had a grip over me. Um, I'm not like, Oh, what? Hang on. Someone's at door with her. Hello. 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 Yeah, so it were a bit like I've not, I've never been like a piss your pants uh, alcoholic drinking to stop the shakes and stuff like that. Um, I'd be lying if I said I've never pissed my pants when drunk, but uh, not for a while, you know what I mean? So it were obvious because I couldn't cut down, couldn't cut down that, that the alcohol did have like a grip on me anyway. So I, I just wanted to put it to the test. Can I do 90 days? Let's see how big a problem it is. Like I say, feel great, not gonna stop. Um, yeah, uh, when did you start feeling the benefits, Izzy said? Um, straight away, actually, just because you get that, ah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, you know what I mean? So you get that early optimism, that bit of life. Um, the, the challenge was when that early optimism dwindled, because you're going, right, I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> Who's this? Um, yeah, yeah, so then you're doing a, you, then it dwindles and you think, doing what? <laughs> what exactly am I doing? Everyone else is drinking. <laughs> I'm not. What am I doing? So when that early optimism starts to dwindle, that's when it gets, that's when it got a bit challenging for me. That, they were my tough days. When I thought, well, I've done, I've done enough now. You know what I mean? I've proved a point. I've done enough. But then you just got to remind yourself that, why do, I, why do I want to drink? Is it just because society is? Is it just because everyone else is? Is it just because I'm craving it? Or do I genuinely enjoy it? You know what I mean? Is there something that when I drink that 
uh, that gives me something that I'm not when I'm sober. Does that make sense? And the answer to that is no, um, which I'm going to come to in a minute. Um, I've covered sleep. Sleep's amazing. I look forward to going to sleep. It takes me about four minutes from lying down to, to going into deep sleep and then waking up. Sweet, I said 20 minutes, so here we are, 20 minutes. I'm just going to tell you my three go-to mantras that are helping me, that helped me quit and are going to help me, uh, that are going to help me maintain it, which I think, Jamie, because there aren't any short and long-term goals, really. Quit drinking, stop, don't drink is the goal, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to maintain the fitness, um, my my new job basically I, so I went my last job was a bit stressful um and that but like down to culture and stuff like that now I'm in somewhere where I can essentially establish and maintain the culture that I want you know what I mean and the people that I want and being able to be completely focused from the minute I walk in there to the minute I leave it is, is going to be a massive part of that. It's going to be really important. I can give people that energy that Samantha Jane's on about. I can give that to everybody. I can give people the attention they need. At no point is anyone going to go, he's a bit, he's a bit of a state today, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Which in, it's not what you want, is it? <laughs> um, so yeah, maintain that. Mental health, work, fitness. That's it really. The goal.